this is the most grand summer festival in China. Dragon Boat Festival. It is a water-related festival. In China, Dragon Boat Festival, Chinese New Year, Tomb Sweeping Day, and Mid-Autumn Festival are known as the four major traditional Chinese festivals. It's formed by inheriting the thousand-year-old traditional culture. It's a traditional festival with shared significance. Its origin, dated back to 2,000 years ago. In ancient times, the temperature was high in summer. Poisonous mosquitoes and other insects made people diseased. So every summer, people would sacrifice to the water god. Grains were wrapped with seasonally abundant zizania leaves and thrown into the river to show awe for the water god and pray for harvest and happiness. In the following thousands of years, Zongzi evolved with the changing regional culture in China. With all kinds of tastes, it became the most representative food of the Dragon Boat Festival. During the Dragon Boat Festival, families gather together to make Zongzi. They gave delicious Zongzi to relatives and friends as gifts. They celebrate the festival together. Dragon Boat Festival is a day for family reunion. It's also a festival to maintain health. Dragon Boat Festival is a time when spring ends and summer comes. Climate change is particularly evident. Snakes, rats, insects and ants, and poisonous animals are rampant. People are extremely vulnerable to their invasion. In order to avoid plague and disease and keep healthy, when the Dragon Boat Festival comes, people hang the detoxifying wormwood in front of the door. They also use herbs to make sachets and wear them. These customs continue to this day. Traditional customs have been handed down for thousands of years and given new cultural connotations in the process of change. The festival is also celebrated to commemorate Chu Yuan, who was a patriotic poet in the Warring States period. Due to the fall of his state, he threw himself into the river to show his loyalty. People were moved by him. They rode to save him, but failed. So they threw Zongzi to feed fish and shrimp to protect Chu Yuan's body. Since then, on the fifth day of the fifth lunar month every year, people combine the Dragon Boat Festival custom with the commemoration of Chu Yuan. Such a traditional and ancient festival is more than just praying for peace. It is more of mourning for ancestors and carrying forward patriotism. In September 2009, UNESCO officially reviewed and approved the Dragon Boat Festival as World Intangible Cultural Heritage. It became China's first festival to be inscribed as World Intangible Cultural Heritage. Today's Dragon Boat Festival bears the ancient memory and carries forward the thousand-year-old culture. Its rich traditional customs contribute to the festive atmosphere. It belongs to China and the whole world. Let's celebrate the festival with the world. Let's share the Dragon Boat Festival with the world.